We said his scoring power might pose a problem for Peter Wright. 130 oh, cover shoots in from Snakebite. He has actually thrown some darts on this stage before tonight, despite being one of the seeds and coming in at this second round stage. He was on stage here last night, taking on what German boxer room. Arthur Abraham in a bit of an exhibition leg. Got a signed glove from the man himself ahead of the game. Yeah, it was a bit silly, but really, really beating him, wasn't it? You, you, know, you, don't, you don't want to anger a boxer, not a professional boxer like it. Abraham's, that's for sure. Well, I was, I was talking to Peter and his other half last night, Joe, and she was saying before the match, I told him if he's bigger than you, lose. Or run. Yeah. Very quickly. Well, to be fair, Peter did just pat his, uh, pat his belly and said he wouldn't know what to do with me. Heavyweight. Heavyweight. 105. Well, 105 brings him down to a finish, but John Henderson's looking at a 13 darter here for a break of throw. Working his way closer. And then getting further away. Still a long way off, though, Peter Wright. Well, a second biggest checkout that can be achieved on the dartboard. Oh, oh, look how close that was. Right in the treble seven. So Hendo is going to come back three more clear darts. 99. Doesn't want to start letting Peter Wright off. I mean, he's scored really well in this leg, Hendo. Chasing it round the board. Finds oh, it. A John Henderson. After nearly throwing away the advantage, manages to get the first leg on the board. Double five comes to his rescue. Did manage to dispatch one of the favoured players at the World Championships and David Chisel in the first round. Chizzy really thought that was the end of his Premier League hopes. And he missed match darts against Mark Webster in the next round, Hendo. 134. Yes, he did. I remember that. I think I was commentating on it at the time. But Hendo starting off this game very well and come through the qualifiers, did Hendo and... 140. Speak my younger son who's now on the tour, Ryan. Got to give him a little mention tonight. Huh. Young fella trying, trying very hard to make it in what <laughs> is now an extremely hard sport to make it in. Oh, it's a lot more difficult now than when you were playing, Rod. Uh, it'd be an also ran nowadays. Some would say, not me, you understand. That's why I don't play no more. <laughs> 140. Yeah, Hendo beating Ryan. He also beat Mark Dudbridge, a former world finalist. And then he beat uh, Steve Hine, the Muffin Man, in the first round here. 90. This is a better leg of darts from Peter Wright, though. He's on to a finish after three visits to the board. He, well, I was going to say he won't go for the ball route if he hits the first two trebles. You never know with Peter Wright. It doesn't matter now, anyway. We've seen him throw from one leg. We've seen him take a little walk about on the stage, encouraging the crowd in the middle of his shots before. Well, I'll tell you what, a tonner of 140 here from Hendo. Yeah, that's the last thing he wanted. Mind you, another one of those will help him out, big time. One that one is brilliant 90. pressure darts from Hendo. So, Peter Wright, look at that treble 17. That leaves him double 16. Well, he's got to go 16 for the bullseye now. He's just had a look at Henderson. Because if Henderson hadn't have been on the shot, he wouldn't have gone that way. So now the bullseye to level it up. Oh, that is a mile away. Oh, very strange goings on. So can John Henderson get himself a shot? He's not. I'd have liked to see him go for the double 19 there, Dan. I mean, he's already down the bottom of the board. He's, he's gone low on the treble 19. There's a chance that he ain't going to go low on that double 19. But Peter Wright hits the double 19 to clear it up. You know, you're going for the treble 19, you've missed it low. You're going all the way up the board on the treble, for the treble 18. You know, I kind of think you're already, you're already down there. Do you know what I mean? Well, once again, Hendo starts off with two trebles in his first visit to the board. He's done that in the last two legs as well. 140. Peter Wright has got a little battle on his hands here. Winner with this one goes through to the next round to play either Yanni Harvisto. The Finnish World Cup start. Or Simon Whitlock. 
the wizard. A man who, until very recently, was competing in the Premier League alongside Peter Wright. It's been a bit of a nightmare. Season. Premier League season four, Simon Whitlock. Not helped, it has to be said, by a bit of a virus that he's had. Yes, he had it for the first, first four or five weeks. And, um, you know, to be that far behind going into, you know, weeks six, seven and eight was just too much to, to claw back. And like we've said so many times, you know, you are playing the best in the world every single Thursday. There's no let-ups. More like it from John Henderson. Oh, not able to stay straight. 95. And he's not down to a finish. So Peter Wright, well, you would expect him to be on a finish. It's just a case of how big it's going to be. Well, Shanghai. Well, don't miss the big numbers this time. He hasn't done. He's going to have to come down now. 135. So Shanghai on 20s for Peter Wright. Oh, and that's not what he wanted to do. Won't get a shot at a double now, so Hendo will come back. 18. Two darts at a double you for a 2-1 lead. It took him a while to find the double in the leg that he won previously, but he only needs two darts this time, and John Henderson takes a 2-1 lead. Oh, Peter Wright looking for the first maximum of the match. 121. Unable to find it. 80. Oh, maybe this. We'll show him out. One hundred. Capacity crowd enjoying. Shows their appreciation for Big John Henderson, who slams in the first maximum of the match. Sixty. Well, averages. The overall average, not anything to. Right home about. Hendo's first nine is pretty good. Of course, the 180. 100. Comes from Henderson, the start of this leg. And he's got a nice little ton advantage, so as long as right don't hit a maximum. 100. Yeah, stolen the darts in a very strong position here, John Henderson. We saw five of the eight seeds knocked out in the afternoon session. Maybe the evening session is going to start off in a similar vein. But a maximum here would be absolutely perfect for Peter Wright. Well, he has to settle for a ton. But John Henderson should get at least a dart at the bullseye here for a potential 12 darter. Is it safe and just goes for the fat bit of the 18 and he wasn't far off with that. But Peter Wright messed this up in the previous leg. He hit the five. Managed to stay straight this time. He's still got a chance. Needed the treble. Well, that's not helped. But Hendo now, probably the nine for the double eight or the one. Oh, he's gone 17 for double four. On the wire, this is for a 3 1 lead and a break of throw and a, a big, big chance he miss. For Henderson. A great first start from Peter Wright. But it's not the easiest double on the board. 57. Demonstrated by the fact that he's missed two darts at it. So John Henderson comes back. Yet another chance for a breaker throw. And there it is. Oh, John Henderson cool. opens up a two-leg lead. John Henderson. And Peter Wright's in a bit of trouble here. Good leg, John. Let's see the Game World on. Championship finalist. Well, it's ultra important here, Dan, for Tendo to have a real strong leg. This is where you stamp your authority in the game of dance. 140. And again, yeah, he's yeah. kicked off with a 140. Every single leg he's gone... 140 or 134. 
that's a heck of a basis upon which to build the rest of your leg. Well, Hendo is another another guy that's had a bit of a rough spell last year, and it's down to, you know, back trouble again. But he's got that sorted out, and um, really has been playing well. He now sleeps with a, a solid pillar between his legs, believe it or not. Is that right? Yep. When you're on your side, pillar between your legs. Keeps the knees apart, keeps the back free. And when you're laying on your back, you have the pillar between your legs to just keep your knees break. All the chiropractors are doing it. Oh. Bouncy superior knowledge. 140. And it's another strong leg, whatever it is. That's his secret. It's working for him in, John Anderson. It's Peter Wright. There's nowhere to be seen in this one. Well, I said he needed a strong leg, and that's exactly what he's done. Doesn't need to go for the bullseye. Well, he ain't going to get a chance now. Oh, this, this doesn't help. Needs a treble. Needs a treble. That is a brilliant dart. He really needed to find that treble. Now he gets his two clear darts at the double. Well, a maximum here would only apply pressure. A 140 is some pressure, but anything less than that is nothing at all. Oh, wow, John Henderson being waved through by Peter Wright to establish a 4-1 lead or so. It looks decent mark of that. Lovely start from John Henderson. It is towards a place in the third round. And Peter Wright needs to do something. Needs to do it very quickly. Is this the start of a fight back from Peter Wright? 140. Oh, Henderson at the start of a leg is in there again. 100. Well, oh, there we see Henderson's stats. That first nine is where he's doing the damage. He is messing around on the doubles, but because that first nine average is so good, he's buying extra darts at the double. He, he's putting the pressure on Peter Wright in those first nine. Yeah, he may only be averaging 29% on the doubles, but he's had 14 shots at them. And as you say, he's bought himself those chances. 42. Well, a slack visit there. Well, Peter Wright's just got to take this leg by leg. It's not been the kind of performance we expect from Snakebite. 29. Particularly in the early stages of the Premier League. I mean, he was absolutely scintillating. Uh, his form may have dropped off a bit. He still sits in the playoff places at the moment as John Henderson looks to fill it up. But he is down in danger of going out of that top four. And he's running. You know, the bookies are saying that he won't make that top four. And in the last two or three weeks, he's just lost that edge. And, and like I've said so many times, when you're on form, you can play with a, a handful of nails. But when you start to doubt yourself a bit, that's when changing his darts may, so many times, may come back to haunt him. Well, he's looking at 92 here. Well, he's gone straight for the treble 20. And he was going to go for a double-double finish, but... 56. Just not really. Your new require 84. Playing good enough darts, maybe the safer option would be to go for the ball. John Henderson's going to get a shot at the ball here for a 5-1 lead. 59. He requires 36. And small margins. Well, now the double nine, and he desperately needed it as well. I think that's the only, only the second double nine I've seen hit here in Germany. Raymond Van Barnevelt hit one, and Peter Wright. So you take that percentage then, 45. it shows you that that double nine is not a nice one. I oh, know, Peter's wife has warmed him off the 18s and 9s route a number of times, having screamed at the TV, watching him miss them. 140. That's a ton 40. And after Hendo only made 45 in his first visit, it's advantage Peter Wright, but back comes the big Scotsman. With a ton 40 of his own. Well, he hasn't hurt. Big Hendo. 
with those three darts. So the throw back to John and he's straight in the treble 20 again. 140 really gives him control. 100. But a solid ton. Still gives him three darts lead. Well, these are the situations where players Ooh, are mean. Oh. Top eight of the world, as Peter Wright is. He's world ranked number six, fifth seed here. This is where they need to put together runs of 94. legs in 15 darts or fewer. Right now, it doesn't look like he's likely to. It's, he's not found anywhere near his top gear. I totally agree with you, Dan. Yeah, he's, he's really out of sorts. There's not enough consistent big scoring, and he's making it quite easy for Hendo. He's gone with the treble seven, that a 14. A lot of people, Mark Walsh and a few of the others, James Wade, go for that treble seven on 61. But he's going to come back for two darts of the double. He missed a big number. Sometimes with some players, having that first dart just to hit a big number gives them the rhythm. Especially in Hendo's case, you're a big rhythm player, so he comes forward, hits the five, and then comes back, comes forward, and hits the double top. And he wasn't far off, now he wants double ten. 35. Wow, two darts missed to go within a leg of victory and Peter Wright. This would be for a break of throw. I mean, he'd be throwing to go level in the next leg. Hits the treble 20. Double 18 he wants. Gets it with his last start in hand and Peter Wright. He's in with a sniff here. He survived two darts to go 5-2 down. But suddenly this game takes on a completely different complexion. Yes, a massive leg there for Henderson. Two darts missed at the double. 5-2 up, you wouldn't have expected Peter Wright to come back from there, but now he's back in the game. 60. And for once, John Henderson doesn't find the treble at the start of the leg. Oh, this is more like it from Peter Wright, much more like it. Moves across, he's stubborn on that treble 20, he'll always try and fit another dart in there. And, well, sometimes you pay the price for that. That's a long way off, John Anderson. He's working his way there, but... Oh, 50 scored. And Peter Wright, suddenly the momentum is with Snake Bite. Yeah, certainly the rhythm has gone from the Henderson throw. At the moment. 99. He's, sorry, Danny, he's still got the throw. If he can hold on, he's still got the throw. If it goes to that last leg, the all-important three darts... But certainly the last two legs, right, has started to get back a bit of rhythm himself. Yeah, might just be thinking about those two missed darts that would have put him 5-2 up. Can't afford to do that. 100. Fantastic start for Peter Wright. Leaves himself double six. Double six is something that you hit an absolute shed load of during the World Championships. If you require 12. And work his way in from there. Just a little bit more. There it is, and Peter Wright restores oh, parity. We're four legs apiece now. And Peter Wright has won the last three. Can John Henderson Shake off snake bite here. He's snapping at his heels. But Hendo still has the advantage of throwing first. Well, there we have the legs. Not a lot to choose between how many darts they've used. But the last three legs all to Peter Wright. And leg seven, Hendo had two darts and a double. Will that be the telling factor in this match? If he go, well, it will be if he goes on and loses. Oh, what a wild dart! Not a player that switches to the 19s very often. Well, 
just as John Henderson has struggled these last few legs. Peter Wright has upped his game slightly. It's not been massive. It's not been a complete turnaround here. It's just been enough. Enough to turn the tide in his favour. Can he just keep that going? Get his nose in front. Winning this leg and he has stolen the darts. Would be a huge step towards the third round. And a place against either Simon Whitlock or Yanni Harvisto. Well, he has another 140 for a little while, and it's coming exactly the right time. So he's probably thinking I can afford one treble 20. Two might hurt me. But he probably said, he may go 25 here, Peter Wright. Done that for the 96, which he took out in a previous leg. So 156 for, oh, there's one. Plenty of room for another beside that. Well, a great set up from John Henderson, and that means there's huge pressure on this. These next few darts could determine the outcome of this match. Peter Wright, looking at treble 20. Well, he'll stay there for double eight, you would think. Or maybe it'll be double 18. Yes, it will. Double 18 for double top. You get 96, double 18, double top, Peter, and Peter Wright is now throwing for the match. Game that one. is the class of a world top six player. Totally agree. Two 96s on the trot from Wright, completely different ways. And it, and it is the only way to go with two darts in your hand on 76, the two doubles. All the players do it nowadays. Years ago, it would be seen to be taking the mickey out of your opponent. But now, no, that's, that's brilliant darts from Wright. He, what Peter Wright has learned in this game is to dig deep. He knows how to grind a result out. And if he goes on and wins this, then certainly that's exactly what he's done here. Well, there have been a couple of moments of quality. The 296 finishes. They may prove to be the difference, although Hendo would be left ruining. Those two missed darts to take a 5-2 lead. This isn't over just yet, though. This has been a scrappy start to the 10th leg. The game still hangs in the balance, and that's a long way from where it's supposed to be from Peter Wright, and that's not much better either. 12 scored after two darts. Oh, my word. He's missed all the big numbers. Well, a double-double finish, and then he's throwing darts like that. And John Henderson, the door is wide open for him. Can he step through? Oh, nimbly done for a big man. Well, that's incredible, Dan. I mean, the last two or three legs, Wright has not missed a thing. And then he goes up, and our dear old friend Sid Waddell used to say, that was a bag of nails. 55. There we have it. Look, 12 darts without a treble. Well, you'd have got great odds on that. Oh, this is more like it from John Henderson. That's how you do it, Peter. And even a maximum doesn't really do a great deal for him. He needs it. He needs it a lot. And he's got it. Oh, 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 here on Henderson. He has missed double so far in this match. Only going to get one here. 20 for double top. To take it to a deciding leg. It's in, oh, and John Henderson breaks straight Henderson. back. Yes, yeah, a brilliant leg of dance there from John Henderson. But you have to say that Peter Wright, with that poor first 12 darts of that leg, really opened the door wide open for Henderson to come steaming through. Well, it's been a strange old game, this one. Henderson was 4-1 up. Wright was 5-4 up and thrown for the match. Suddenly it's 5-all and Henderson seems to have the momentum and then he throws 28 with his first three darts of this one. And Peter Wright has got a chance, but... Well, he's failed to find a travel himself. I don't know, you pick a winner out of this. I've got no idea. Ninety-five. Well, the 
the first treble of the leg goes to Henderson. This is where Wright needs a 140. Well, he needs to score 280 with six darts sometime in this game to get down. And well, again, and, and we've seen this a little bit, you know, in the Premier League on, on Thursday. He did a couple of these shots that were so far away, it was, well, you, you couldn't fathom it out. Look oh, oh, it's only his second 180 of the game, but he's pulled it out in the deciding leg, and he's done it after scoring 28 earlier in the leg. Suddenly, this is Henderson's to lose. 16. And Peter Wright through those darts, like a man who knows he's going to rely on his opponent to miss. That's all he's got left. Well, Henderson could have 12 darts from here, now nine. It gives Peter Wright nine from here and nine from 360. Without a maximum, it's not going to happen. 85, Johnny Ricardo, oh. 16. It's been a strange one this game. It's gone from one end to another. He doesn't need to go trouble 17 ball for this. John Henderson stays up at the 20s. 54. Well, he is messing about a bit getting down there, isn't he? He certainly is. You know, that, that was not a good thinking dart from John Henderson going down. He should have stayed up to leave the 61. At least that would have given him two darts. Of the double from the 25 would have given him two darts at double, double 18. He's going to have to go. Treble 10 now should be the shot. Well, double top for John Henderson for a 6 5 win to dump out one of the seeds. And here was a straight one. He trailed 5 